but as uh, Marek Nering, who is a uh, arm wrestler. So this this uh, seems to be a perfect background uh, for a, for a competition like this. And you know what? This is the kind of sport where you don't have to be a professional athlete to be good. Guys like uh, Muraj, who are just bricklayers, sometimes do very, very well uh, in, in competitions like this. Guys who are short, heavy, have got big necks. Let's see what he can do. Oh, he flinched. He flinched big time there. He knew it was coming, but he took it. It may affect the scorecards later if we get that far, but for now, that was a decent first foray into Slap Fight Championship. We will see how Maras will respond. He is from Świebodzin. Świebodzin is called uh, Polish Rio de Janeiro. Uh, why? Because uh, there is a huge statue of Jesus Christ. Uh, oh. Uh, exactly like in Rio. We'll see uh, if uh, the Jesus from Świebodzin will help uh, Marek Nering in his uh, next uh, <laughs> round of slap. Look at that. That was a decent slap, but you can see there's a little bit of chalk there on his shoulder, so he may have grazed the shoulder area there. But I think that's because uh, Nering flinched a bit. But now the big guy is going to have his shot and as you can see there is an obvious height differential between these two uh will nering be able to use that to his advantage there's some judges discussion they may be talking about uh the flinching on the part of maras here we go first slap for the 49 year old he's got to get his shoulders down lower Oh, that was good. That was a good start there, Daniel. He wobbled him and sent him back a few steps. The bricklayer almost got laid out. Oh, his eyes are blinking and he's having a little think about that one. We will see this on the replay, but uh, you can clearly see that Nering uh, is a veteran of uh, this sport. Oh yeah, he, he earned his respect right there. That was a very nicely placed shot there, right on the cheek and on the chin. You can see his head wobble back and forth there. A pretty good indicator that he got him with that one. Good technique, uh, lots of power. Definitely his opponent uh, felt it. And we will see how he will uh, do in the second round. So Tomasz Kalemba getting ready for his second strike of the evening. He did, uh, he did land a pretty good shot in the first one. I think he caught the shoulder a little bit here. This time he's looking to get a nice clean shot in on Nearing. These two pacing around like lions getting ready for round number two. And I think the referee going to have one more look over just to make sure that he can continue safety of course needs to be adhered to at all times it's a very violent sport and there's no sense letting the fight go on if it doesn't have to Maras uh, was uh, talking about his uh, punch down debut when he knocked out uh, Adam Arnold uh, Lubczyński uh, when uh, he was slapping second his his opponent won a coin toss uh, he uh, thrown his opponent uh, thrown the slap and then uh, his opponent got knocked out we will see here we won't have a replay definitely yeah and remember at punch down four Nearing got the best KO of the evening mm. Ah, oh, man, not a whole lot done on that one. A decent slap. Didn't quite have the pow the same power as in the first one. I think that uh, after he took that first slap, that changed him a little bit, and he didn't quite have the same kind of fire as he did in the first one. Yeah, you can see from the reaction there of Maras, 
that maybe he was expecting more there. And uh, that's got to do wonders for his confidence here as he prepares for his second slap. The first slap of Maras made an impact. We'll see uh, how he will do in the second attempt. Lots of focus here. There's also... A, uh, Referees conferring yeah. once again about something here. Boy, I love the atmosphere here at Slap Fighting Championship Underground. All right, we are ready to resume. Second slap here for Niring. Oh, popped him good here. Did you hear the slap? The sound of that one, it was like a popping sound. He's given the thumbs up sign though. Muras still standing uh, like an Elton John, but I don't know uh, if he will sink. Definitely he uh, will have to recover, but uh, I think uh, he took it in a better fashion than uh, the first slap of Maras. Well, he said in his interview he likes eating, but he has eaten a couple of very hard slaps here from Maras, but still standing. You can certainly see, though, if we're judging by damage inflicted so far, though, I think that Maros is way ahead. You can just tell by the legs buckling, the fact that he's taking some steps uh, backwards, the way his eyes are blinking, the visible damage, which you can see here. Uh, Maros, a much taller individual, much longer arms, uh, an arm wrestler, has some very powerful shoulders and biceps, and uh, is able to inflict a lot more damage. So we move into round three here, ladies and gentlemen. Keep in mind they do have 30 seconds uh, between slaps to compose themselves. The judges will also make sure that they are fit to compete. And the bricklayer from Poland, Tomasz Muraj Kalemba. He's got his final strike of the contest coming up. Niering looks in much better shape here he's got a clearer mind he's got his chin way down low though i don't know if they'll allow that all right one more chance here let's see what he's got Nah, not much behind there, and also an illegal shot, yeah, according not, to Maras. Not very clean shot. A little bit low, and he hit him in the shoulder again. He's, he's hitting him in the shoulder. He's got a disadvantage here, though, because he's got shorter arms, uh, and he's a lot shorter, and so the way that he has the strike at, like, an upward angle uh, makes it difficult for him, I think. You know, but uh, if you're shorter, you have to solve it and uh, if you doing like this uh, as we can see you are doing a technical mistake yeah and i think i could see from the reaction of uh Moraj that he felt that it maybe threw his shoulder out or he hurt his arm look at that he, yeah. he is hurting more than his opponent is almost it's not a good sign for him and obviously maras uh a little bit po'd there about being hit in the neck rightfully so Yeah, look, I think he hurt his elbow. He hurt his own arm there, hitting Maras that time. But that's his last strike, and so now he'll just have to deal with uh, Muraj one more time. Do you think that Muraj can put him away with this last slap? I don't think so. <laughs> I think he's got a shot here. I think he can. He's Each strike so far has been getting progressively more oh, violent. You, you said about uh, Muras to uh, Mara, uh, sorry, Ma Maras to Muras. Maras to Muras, uh, very, Muras to Maras, yes. whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, very, the tall uh, very guy similar. to the short yeah, guy. The, the, yeah, definitely. Uh, Marek Nering uh, can knock uh, his opponent out. The two uh, first laps, two for very first uh, rounds attempts uh, were, were very uh, strong, uh, very good and technical. And we, we will see if he will finish him or not.
There was a medical check, a necessary medical check, because that was very hard. We can oh, see they're stretcher. Bringing a stretcher here. He is out like a light. Well, I said it, a punch down four. Uh, Maras won best KO of the evening. He may have won it here tonight as well. He needed uh, three rounds to do it, but it's uh, still very effective. Watch this. <laughs> oh, God. Whoa. And, uh, you know, where were the guys when he was falling down? Where are the security here? They're sleeping on the job. Look at that. Should have been a little bit more ready for that because, you, you know, you don't want the guy to hit his head on the ground or something. And uh, you see the eyes roll back in the head like a B-level horror movie. And, uh, well, I hope he's okay. He's definitely gonna need some medical attention here, break out the smelling salts or something to wake this guy up, but that was a terrifying knockout from the six foot six, 49 year old Marek Naringa, who's proving that age is only a number. Let's make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, and your winner by knockout, Marek. Smooch there for the ring girl. Tomku, czy było to do przewidzenia, że tak się zakończy twoja walka? Czułem się z tym i cieszę się, że. Prawdopodobnie za trzecim, tak, ciosem? E, także cieszę się, że chociaż te trzy ciosy, że e, miałem okazję też e, wykonać ten cios. Ja myślę, że spoko. A obawiałeś się wcześniej nokautu? E, przechodziło mi to przez myśl, nie tyle może coś obawiałem, co naprawdę widziałem walki Marasa. Naprawdę darzę go ogromnym szacunkiem, mimo wszystko. Co to dużo mówisz? No naprawdę kozacki fajny pojedynek. Cieszę się, że nie zjechałem za pierwszym strzałem, aczkolwiek był naprawdę potężny. Jest ok. Maras jest od ciebie trochę wyższy. Marek jest ode mnie i wyższy i starszy, ale też jest potężniejszym chłopem. Ma naprawdę powera w łapie i następny jego przeciwnik myślę, że może nie tyle, że skończy tak jak ja, ale na pewno będzie miał co robić, żeby go położyć. E, czy myślisz o tym, żeby jednak zmierzyć się kolejny raz z tego typu konkurencji? Nie wykluczam takiej opcji. I'm not excluding, uh, e, rozumiem, że już następny raz będziesz fighting. się może bardziej trochę przygotowywać, Maybe bo do tej walki chyba no, nie poświęciłeś za dużo czasu, tak, przed tą walką? Szczerze mówiąc, Be bardzo honest. szczerze mówiąc, e, przygotowania moje trwały My raptem parę dni. Was, uh, Mimo tego, like, że wierzyłem uh, o Gali dużo wcześniej, days, uh, no szkoda, szkoda, troszeczkę, troszeczkę myślę, że zaniedbałem to. Uh, jest to ewidentnie jest to moja wina, brak przygotowań. Fault, the, Co tu dużo mówisz, no, dałem ciała, brawo ma raz. Super zajebisty fault, pojedynek. But, uh, Dziękuję was, bardzo. Uh, A ja tobie mimo wszystko gratuluję również. Dzięki. Dzięki. Marku, jak skomentujesz swoją uh, walkę? Uh, wygrałeś fight? przez knockout, nie pierwszy raz. You know, tak, nie pierwszy raz wygrałem na, też przez knockout na pan, pan dał yes, 4. Uh, no, fakt, że tam było trochę krócej, bo po jednym uderzeniu zawodnik stracił przytomność. Bo tutaj musieliśmy dotrwać do końca walki. Trzy uderzenia on, trzy uderzenia ja. Moje zakończyło wszystko. Jakie emocje towarzyszyły ci przed trakcie walki? Bo mam wrażenie, że zachowywałeś stoicki spokój. What about, tak, what no, wiedziałem już, uh, z czym to się je. Nie, nie było to jakieś dla mnie, nie była to dla mnie nowość. Czy... Wiedziałem, jak moja głowa reaguje na uderzenia. No wiadomo, to wszystkiego nie da się przewidzieć, zawodnik. Y, może idealnie trafić i, o, i również nie wyłączyć. Y, to po pierwszym uderzeniu jakby, no, nie zrobiło na mnie jakiegoś wielkiego wrażenia, ale oczywiście zawodnik no, mógł mieć dwa, jak chyba, żebym skończył y, szybciej. 
Tak, byłem spokojny, troszkę w słuchawkach, troszkę się tak włączałem, chodziłem, dreptałem. No nie mówię, że nie było stresu. To w tym sporcie, przy tych, przy tych walkach, no nie, nie można powiedzieć, że nie przychodzi trema, nie przychodzi jakiś tam stres, ciśnienie i tak dalej. No, nie, ma, nie ma takiej możliwości. Oczywiście, a jak byś skomentował swojego przeciwnika? Bardzo twardy chłopak, pierwszy jego star. Twarda głowa. Mocny kark, bo no ciężko go było w pierwszych uderzeniach jakby powalić. Pierwsze uderzenie jakieś takie było chyba moje najsłabsze. Może takie, nie wiem, musiałem po nim zaskoczyć. Drugi już było, już je odczułem też ja na ręce. Zawodnik też, bo już go troszkę tam podmroczyło. No trzecie skończyło i faktycznie to było moje najlepsze uderzenie. Wyprowadzone idealnie z odpowiednią siłą. Może nie dynamiką, ale skupiłem się na uderzeniu, przyciągnięciu ręki. No i udało się pełen sukces. Zawodnik bardzo fajny, bardzo dobry. No, gratuluję mu występu. Twardy chłopak, bardzo sympatyczny. Także no, bardzo, bardzo pozytywnie go odbieram. No, i, i, no, mam nadzieję, że nic mu się nie stało. Jest oczywiście przytomny, ale... Mam nadzieję, że nie powodnie jakichś komplikacji, bo boli dzień, dwa i przejdzie. Gratuluję kolejnym Dziękuję bardzo.